Putting off an unpleasant task is a mental process. Greetings and salutations to all. The topic of our video today pertains to the mental process that leads to putting off an unpleasant task. The situation where a particular valence weighting bias is likely to be problematic is going to vary. The psychological term to describe this mental process is called valence weighting bias, which describes people's tendency to adapt in new circumstances by drawing more strongly from either their positive or negative attitudes or in the context of approaching an unpleasant task, whether negative or positive internal signals carry the most weight in guiding the final behavior. Without further ado, let us commence with our discussion. The mental process is termed valence weighting bias in psychology. It delineates people's inclination to adapt to new circumstances by relying more on either their positive or negative attitudes. In the context of approaching an unpleasant task, it determines whether negative or positive internal signals hold more sway in influencing final behavior. Russell Fazio, a professor of psychology at The Ohio State University and the senior author, raises the question of which aspect triumphs in this battle between positivity and negativity. In a series of studies, Fazio and Javier Granados Samayoa, the first author and a former Ohio State graduate student, discovered connections between a more negative-leaning attitude and procrastination. They also found it feasible to shift the weighting bias of strong procrastinators towards neutrality and counter their tendency to delay tasks. We're examining the interplay of positives and negatives in decision-making and how valence weighting bias determines people's choices, Granados Samayoa explained. The research, recently published in the journal Personality and Individual Differences, embarked on testing a real-world scenario, preparing a federal tax return. Fazio explained the rationale behind this study, stating that people briefly contemplate whether to tackle the task immediately, acknowledging both positive and negative signals. Participants numbering 232 reported their routine of filing returns early or late during tax season. Using this data, Fazio and Granado Samayoa assessed how strongly participants weighed positive or negative signals when faced with something new. Their analysis unveiled a correlation between a stronger negative weighting bias and procrastination in filing tax returns. Granado Samayoa elaborated, stating that individuals with more pronounced negative attitudes tend to procrastinate unnecessary tasks more frequently. The second study involved 147 college students participating in a program that offered course credit for research participation. Besides measuring the students' weighting bias, the study investigated whether their levels of self-control influenced task-related behavior. Did their self-reported motivation or emotional energy to exercise self-control impact whether they initiated research participation early or procrastinated? Results indicated that a combination of negative weighting bias and self-reported low motivation or emotional energy for effective self-control correlated with delaying research participation. Granados Samayoa emphasized the nuanced findings of study two, stating that individuals guided by valence weighting tendencies might exhibit straightforward behavior. However, those who possess greater motivation and cognitive capacity might consider other factors that mitigate the influence of valence weighting bias. Study three aimed to establish a causal effect of valence weighting bias on task completion or delay. Procrastinating students with self-reported high negative weighting bias were recruited for this study. Researchers manipulated the valence weighting bias tool for one group to balance positive and negative signals. This shift altered the behavior of students who accrued credit hours more rapidly than the control group. Negative weighting bias can also positively impact behavior. Researchers found evidence suggesting that negative weighting bias might foster realism when individuals assess their preparedness for tasks. Fazio stressed the importance of objective balance rather than extreme biases. He highlighted that the problematic nature of a particular valence weighting bias varies depending on the situation. This research received support from the John Templeton Foundation and the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.